recently, in the secondary market, until recently, you can often find a car that was not very well known in Russia, a large two-door Ford Cougar Coupe. The increased demand for this car is explained by its relatively low price for cars of this class, decent engines in terms of reliability and power, as well as rather modest operating costs. The Ford Cougar Coupe was first shown to the public in 1998 at the Detroit Auto Show. The car was one of the first to use a new for Ford style with sharp edges new edge, revolutionary at the time. Particular attention is drawn to the slanted front and rear lights, once again emphasizing the cat name of the car, Cougar is translated from English as a cougar, this is how a predatory mountain cat, known by many names, including Mexican lion, deer tiger, etc. The hero of our story today has a twin brother named Mercury Cougar, sold exclusively in the North American market. But the Ford Coupe was focused on Europe, where buyers of even ordinary family cars pay great attention to the driving characteristics of a particular model. The Cougar is based on the first-generation Ford Mondeo platform, it debuted in 1993, known in the US as the Ford Counter. True, it should be noted right away that the chassis went to the Coupe from a modernized 1996 car with a thruster suspension. The designers have worked very seriously on the characteristics of the Cougar chassis, making the car more docile in corners. But at the same time, comfort was not forgotten. And they did the right thing, because in most cases Cougar was bought not to set speed records, but for ordinary urban use. In addition, the base Mondeo endowed the used Ford Cougar with a huge advantage, despite all the dissimilarity of these two models, their chassis, engine, etc. are identical, which means that there should be no problems finding replacement parts. Moreover, in many cases, the purchase of spare parts from the Mondeo or its American counterpart Contour allows you to save decent money. There can be no problems with the bodywork of the Ford Cougar, even if this car has been operated in Russia since birth. Critics of Ford cars are sure that the Cougar simply has not yet lived up to the moment when the metal begins to actively rust. But I don't think this is an argument. Apparently, with a good owner, the Cougar body will last a very long time. The main thing is not to get into an accident on this car, because if you fail to straighten the metal, you will have to go to the Ford parts store and order new elements. And it will cost, believe me, a very decent amount, because Cougars are not found on our showdowns. For example, if you accidentally split a huge rear bumper, you will have to say goodbye to $500 to $800. Options Ford Cougar is quite rich. And the leather interior is not uncommon here, especially for cars imported from the USA. It is also worth noting that even the simplest cars have not only front but also side airbags. Cougar was the first Ford to receive four airbags as standard. Of course, it won't hurt to check the operation of all mechanisms. But practice shows that on cars in more or less decent condition, everything should be in perfect order with the interior. Only some flaws are allowed, but if the insides of the car already have a very sad look, then it is better to refrain from buying such an option, despite all the seller's assurances about the chic condition of the car as a whole. Ford Cougar, unlike its progenitor, has a very limited choice of powertrains. And this is completely justified because it is useless for a large coupe with a pronounced sporty image to have some kind of dead 1.6 liter engine. By all the laws of the genre, cars of this class should be equipped with only the most powerful engines. There were two of those in the Mondeo range. One of them had four cylinders, a volume of 2.0 liters and a power of 131 horsepower. But the second power unit was already a six-cylinder, V-shaped, and with a volume of 2.5 liters it produced 170 horsepower. Although it must be said that Ford also produced in small quantities a force version of the 2.5-liter engine, which could already boast of 205 horses. But such cars are extremely rare on sale, and if one of these charged Cougars comes across, you need to remember that it has a different, very stiff suspension. If you need a Cougar for normal, everyday driving, you don't have to worry too much about finding a car with a V6. According to the experience of many Cougar owners, 2-liter engine with 131 horsepower, quite enough for the city. And on the track, this engine will not fail. In addition, it has less fuel consumption, it takes about 10 to 12 liters per 100 kilometers, while 2.5-liter cars eat 14 to 15 liters each. But still, when a coupe is bought not only because of its beautiful appearance, it is not worth saving. You need to look for a car with a 2.5-liter engine that has a very decent traction reserve. 
do not be surprised that the price of such specimens is several thousand dollars more than that of two-liter counterparts. Both the initially higher cost of powerful models and the peculiarities of Russian customs legislation affect here. Payments for a 2-liter Cougar will amount to about 3,500 euros, and for a 2.5-liter, already 5,000 euros. The 2-liter engine installed on the Cougar belongs to the ZTEC series, well known from other Ford models. This motor has proven itself not only in Europe, but also in our country. With runs less than 150 to 200,000 kilometers, there are no problems with it. And then, usually, you only need to change some engine seals, which may require about $150 to $400, it all depends on the amount of work required. But, we repeat once again, the seals begin to flow only at high mileage. The V6 engine is already called Duratec. This motor, which appeared in the mid-90s, has earned the reputation of a very reliable unit that can run more than 500,000 kilometers. To drive the gas distribution mechanism, two metal chains are used here which even on machines with high mileage do not require replacement. But owners of cars with four-cylinder engines should remember that in Russian conditions it is best to change the timing belt every 60,000 kilometers. If it breaks, you can seriously hit the money, although sometimes you can get by with just replacing bent valves. The cost of replacing the timing belt is about $160 to $200, along with labor and spare parts. Often, in a 2.5-liter engine, after 100 to 120,000 kilometers, the cooling system pump starts to work poorly. As soon as it turns out, you need to immediately go to the service and change this part, it is inexpensive, $80. Otherwise, if the pump fails, the coolant will stop circulating and the motor can easily overheat, and it's aluminum, which means it doesn't like too high temperatures. But it should be noted that even in case of overheating, it is often possible to get rid of just replacing the cylinder head gasket, 2-liter engine can boast of this. Although sometimes you can hear negative reviews about the 2.5-liter engine, but usually this is not due to the reliability of the motor, but to the fact that maintenance and repair work is more expensive, and the price of many consumables is also higher. For example, candles for a 2.0-liter engine cost less than $5, and for a 2.5-liter engine, they cost $8 to $10. By the way, it is best to change them more often, since candles do not last long on our gasoline, an average of 10,000 kilometers. When operating the Cougar in Russia, regardless of the engine, it is sometimes necessary to change the idle speed sensors, airflow sensors, etc., but in many cases it is possible to save money and get by with cleaning the parts. A fairly large part of the Ford Cougar is equipped with an automatic transmission. It is somewhat more common on cars with a V6 engine, which is understandable, with this engine thoughtfulness of the automatic is almost not felt. What cannot be said about cars with a 2-liter engine, a more modest Cougar is better suited to the mechanics. Moreover, the manual box is very praised for the excellent clarity of switching in the absence of vibrations. In many ways, thanks to the interesting gearbox drive system, which uses not traction, as on the Mondeo, but cables. According to Ford repairmen, both transmissions are very reliable and cause little to no hassle. Is it oil under our operating conditions, for the automatic, every 30,000 kilometers, and for the mechanics, every 60 to 80,000 kilometers? And usually, when the same automatic transmission breaks down, it is not the design of the mechanism that is to blame, but the improper operation and stupidity of the driver. As for the clutch on cars with the mechanics, with an aggressive driving style it can fail after 70 to 80,000 kilometers, although for calm drivers it lasts about twice as long. True, clutch replacement is a very time-consuming procedure. In total, the cost of work and spare parts is about $200 to $300. So, when buying a car with a badly worn clutch, it's a good idea to ask for a repair discount. The suspension of the Ford Cougar is sportily stiff, but at the same time it allows you to drive a car quite calmly even on our broken roads. The front suspension of the Cougar is a classic McPherson with a stabilizer, but the rear, called Quadrilink, as a passive steering effect, which somewhat improved the car's handling in corners. Although one should not think that this coupe has all four wheels that can turn to the side, as on some Japanese sports cars. It's just that Ford's rear wheels are able to slightly change the toe angle. The chassis went to the Cougar from the restyled Mondeo, which means that it is already devoid of certain shortcomings. For example, the silent blocks of the front levers are significantly reinforced in the modernized chassis. Naturally, 
the coupe received slightly different shock absorbers, springs, and stabilizers, which gave the car a completely different character. When driving a Ford Cougar, you need to remember that this car is able to demonstrate all its capabilities only with an absolutely correct suspension. That is why you need to periodically monitor that the same shock absorbers do their job at 100%, not to mention the rest of the details. Although, in general, the reliability of the chassis can be considered very good. Of course, from time to time something has to be changed, but this is a completely normal phenomenon. For example, about every 40 to 60,000 kilometers, new stabilizer bushings must be installed in the rear suspension, but this repair costs a penny. When buying spare parts, it is not necessary to order items from Cougar. Sometimes you have to do this, but more often spare parts from the Mondeo or its American Contra variant are suitable. For example, at a branded service station for original levers specifically for a coupe, they can ask for more than $400 a piece. And absolutely the same parts, but intended for installation on the Ford Contra, will cost about $150 to $200. Now you can find services where silent blocks are simply repressed, which saves money. By the way, in stores you can also find a lot of non-original parts from Mondeo or Contra, which are great for Cougar you need to take only products from well-known and trusted manufacturers. Perhaps, it is not necessary to save only on brakes. The predecessor of the Ford Cougar was the Probe model, which was quite popular at the time, the joint development of Ford and Mazda. As a result, the Probe is very similar in design to the Mazda MX-6, which was based on the Mazda 626. The Ford Probe Coupe first appeared in 1988. At first, a 2.2-liter engine with 12 valves with a capacity of 110 horsepower was installed on the Pro, but already in 1990 a 3.0-liter V6 engine with 16 valves appeared under the hood, delivering 140 horsepower. And then they began to install a 2.2-liter unit on the car, but with a turbocharged power of 145 horsepower. At the end of 1992, the Pro was upgraded, restyled cars are usually called the second generation of Pro. The updated coupe received not only a slightly different appearance, but also other power units from the Mazda 626, a 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine, 115 horsepower, and a 2.5-liter V6 with 165 horsepower. In the mid-1990s, Ford management began to think about what to release to replace the already aging probe. After lengthy discussions, it was decided to build a coupe not in cooperation with Mazda, but independently. The new large two-door car was based on a very successful chassis from the Mondeo, which, moreover, underwent modernization, which saved the chassis from some childhood diseases and increased its reliability. The design of the new coupe, presented at the Detroit Auto Show in 1998, was decided to be done in the then new for Ford style, New Edge, before that, the Ford Ka and Puma models had already been created in the same spirit. As a result, the appearance of the new car with the cat named Cougar, as the Puma is called in America, turned out to be quite aggressive. A four-cylinder 2.0-liter engine with 131 horsepower was installed under the hood of the Cougar, and a 2.5-liter 6, 170 horsepower. Also, in small quantities, charged versions of the Cougar with a 2.5-liter engine with 205 horsepower were assembled. It is worth noting that the Ford Cougar, although it was sold in the United States, by the way, the car was produced exclusively in America, was originally aimed at European buyers. But for the inhabitants of the New World, the twin brother Cougar was intended under the name Mercury Cougar. It was equipped with an already quieter 2-liter engine with 126 horsepower, as well as a 2.5-liter V6 that produced 173 horsepower. In 2001, production of the Ford Cougar ceased. A similar coupe under the Mercury brand was produced a little longer, however, it was also soon discontinued. To date, Ford has yet to introduce a successor to the Cougar. If you want a fresh year sports coupe, the Ford Cougar is the way to go. The car has very good handling, good engines, and, perhaps most importantly, it is quite reliable. And besides, the price of used Cougar in good condition is not too high. We should not forget about one more thing, the Ford Cougar is not found on our roads too often, which will immediately allow the owner of this car to stand out in the general street.